Welcome back guys, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm back and we are continuing with Code Academy's PHP beta and my birds are up. It's 5.12 a.m. I think it's March 6, 2013. Let's get it. Okay, so we learned how to create a variable, but this is all a review. Um, they want to see if we remember everything that we've learned so far. So if you do remember anything so far, you should remember that this is always how it's supposed to look like. Um, and we want to create a variable called my name. That sounds easy enough. My name. Um, give it the value of whatever your name is. Is Henry. Submit the code. We get the green check mark. Let's keep going. So the next up is they want us to create a variable called my age. My age. Same thing as before, except no strings no apostrophe um no it's not a string so i don't need apostrophe and i am 150 years old do you believe me maybe not press submit we get the green check mark and the third and last step is echoing it out what that basically means is it wants you to print it over here because right now nothing is printed on um inside our browser or whatever you want to call it and there's it's there's an easy way to fix that just press echo echo and we are done pretty much we are done right there look at that look at that beautiful beautiful i forgot to show you guys one small trick um, look at how it only submits um, my age, whatever the value of my age. There's an easy way to um, get it to submit both. Actually, just instead of having a semicolon, just put a comma. So it just does Henry150 because it just basically adds Henry, it prints Henry and my age side by side so let's just, let me just do this see Henry 1502 but there's a way to space it out just put that space bar there and look at this there's space in between the Y and the 1 and that's pretty much how you do it just put a comma and you get both um variable values returned to you on the screen um yeah that's pretty much all add like subscribe this is henry1502 inc i'm out